just an ill one or two for you. Yeah, I'm always. Alright guys, we got a south wind today, meaning we'll have about a 15 minute taxi up to the north end of the lake. Take out to the south, that means for y'all is that you get a free boat tour out of it. We don't, we don't even charge extra for. Thank you, Sky One, south end of the lake. We head to across the lake to the needle of the banner and toe. So Brandon, where are you from? I am from Branson, Missouri, originally. Wow. Yeah, I moved out to the area about uh, four years ago, started making my uh, conversion over to seaplanes and began working here. And I asked you that earlier, but you guys get along with the Kenmore folks, right? We do, we do. They're, uh, no, we're, we're friendly with everybody here on the lake. They know us, we know them. And no issue. Do you use the same lane, or is there a designated seaplane lane? There's not a mandatory one, no. So the, the lake is wide enough to where you can have uh, two sets of planes going off at the same time if you need to, although we usually just kind of do it to one because no big hurry here. Lots of paddle boarders and yachts and boats and things. Yeah, there's a few kayakers out today. Good weather brings them out. Uh, yeah, Kenmore is the other company, so they, uh, they're, one of their planes just landed here going head uh, south. So we've got Gas Works Park here in front of us at the far end of the lake. That's an old coal gasification plant that made electricity up until 1956. They turned into a public park in the 1970s. You guys have ever seen the movie 10 Things I Hate About You? He's Ledger Film, they filmed part of it there. And Sleepless in Seattle, was that on this lake? It was, actually. So here on, on both sides, east and west sides, you'll see closer and closer to the, uh, the East Lake homes. You see the floating home community. There's also one on the other side, on the West Lake side. And uh, yes, Tom Hanks is home and the film is over on uh, West Lake. The Seattle Seaplane building. Lake Washington traffic this morning. If you look between the bridges, stuff people have found. Lake Washington traffic. Is it a houseboat or is it a on pilings? Uh, it is on pilings. Okay. And you guys have been doing, they've been giving seaplane rides for a long time. Oh, uh, we have. Uh, my boss started the business in 1981 and he's uh, been the sole owner ever since. Uh, he has been flying seaplanes for uh, uh, longer than that here off this lake. And there is a lot of seaplane history to the area. First one that we know of is uh, 1914. The then mayor of Seattle took a seaplane ride. We've got a picture up in the office on a postcard out here on the water. Him, the pilot. And Bill Boeing of Boeing Aircraft uh, built his first airplane out here in Seattle. It was the BW-1. It was a seaplane and he launched it. Uh, actually, just going off our right, uh, from the right, you're off Boston Street, which is you know about a half mile north of our office. So I had the pleasure of meeting Jim. So he started the business in 1981, and yep.
Lake Union, traffic at the 57 Twin Sango, is at the north end, preparing for a south side, east turn out, Lake Union. Lake Union, traffic at the 57 Twin Sango, side south. Right out there, that big church of the St. Mark's Cathedral. You guys can notice that that is Volunteer Park. Both Bruce Lee and his son Brandon Lee are buried there. Lake Union, Lake Washington traffic, that's the 572 and Tango, northbound over Capitol Hill for an east turnout, Lake Washington. Lake Union traffic at Slaughter 765, taxing out for a north slide, right turn eastbound. Anybody inbound, Lake U. Lake Union 765 is on the north slide. Union are pure fresh water connected by the Mont Lake Cut 
and separated from the Puget Sound by the Ballard Locks. They're about 20 feet above sea level. Got the downtown Seattle skyline on our right. Bellevue off the nose. Lake Washington traffic at the 572 and take a Western Point eastbound. Lake Washington. And Lake Union 765 is coming up on the I-5 bridge. 600 turning eastbound with you. And the bridges you see up there are I-520 and I-90. Both floating bridges and the longest floating bridges in the world. Lake Washington is too deep and has too loose of a bottom to be able to build traditional support filings, so they floated them instead. One to the 3,000. 500. Southern Virginia, the airport for set of operations. About four and a half miles. East of Plato, Plato. Lake Washington, Carrie, two and Tango southbound over 520 along the Medina shoreline, Lake Washington. Okay, Lake Washington, 765 for being the Husky Stadium, 800 for Webster Point, and then southbound between the bridges, Lake Washington. Cotchway Turbos for the Phenom departing the parallel runway. Roman 14 left, clear for takeoff, and the valley departure is approved. That's the Gertis State, is it? Roman Carrots at the 4.572 and Tango between the bridges westbound. Orbiting over downtown, indicating left, uh, indicated 1,100 to Banner Toke Up. Phenom 5 Alpha contact, Seattle departure, see ya. Roman Carrots at the 4.572 and Tango between the bridges westbound. Flip wind 5721 Tango, Boeing Tower, transition approved to Boeing altimeter 3010, traffic passing overhead, indicating 1,800 is a Cessna behavior in sight. Two Tango, traffic in sight, thank you. Flip wind 21 Tango, wide end, please. Two one Tango, wide end. Just lean up and drop. Two one Tango, thanks. Uh, 996 Tango Alpha, gosh, wait to for Phenom, that's the part of the parallel. Just departing ahead is a straight up departure down the valley. Runway 14 left, clear for takeoff, Mercy departure is approved. Is that Mooney 128 Echo? I'm on Mooney. Echo. Mooney 128 Echo, say direction of flight. Mooney 128 Echo, Roger, hold short, uh, runway 14 left. Any single whiskey, previous banner tow cup is just off your left, about a half a mile. Next thing. Got one traffic off your right inbound on the ILS is a Cheyenne 1200, they have you inside. Yeah, one thing we'll be looking for. 4.21 Tango, traffic a mile south of the stadium is orbiting over downtown at the banner tow cup, last indicated 1100. Go ahead, Tango, banner tow inside. Good morning, 6565, traffic passing uh, beneath you at the helicopter, indicating 700 feet, and traffic orbiting over downtown at the banner tow cub, indicating 1,100. Looking for the banner, can we 6565? Sky 1, traffic over Mount Baker Tunnel, headed for Elliott Bay, the northwest bound is a flip lane, indicating 1,200. We're looking for the floater. Full bench, do you have the, uh, the cub in sight? Two and Tango, the Baron Tow inside, I will slow down and pass behind them as they head north. Open two and Tango, thanks, and traffic over Pier 91 inbound on the straight end is the Caravan 1600. Two and Tango. Good morning, 6565, traffic, uh, previous Banner Tow Cub is over the stadiums, uh, indicating 1100, and that slope plane is just south of the stadium, transitioning northwest bound, indicating 1200. Okay, Banner inside, looking for the slope, can we get 
Looney 28 Echo, runway 14 left, trip takeoff, left coast traffic approved, wind 0303. Trip takeoff, 14 left, Looney 128 Echo, thank you. Station 525 Mike, Bowling Tower, tax 11 o'clock in, one and a half miles inbound to the parallel runway as a caravan, indicating 1,600. Roman 1 4 right, clear to land. Say one has a floater on factor. Good morning, 6565, should be a traffic site. We do have the uh, the banner and we're being, okay, we got the float plane down as well, we got a long camera, should be good. Good morning, 6535, Roger, and runway 14 left, clear to land, number one. Clear to land, uh, 14, camera, should be good. Nine eight Tango Whiskey, safe parking. Nine eight Tango Whiskey, right at Bravo Five. Christian, Bravo Four, contact ground point nine or not. Over Shield Shield, take in call sign, please. Station at seven zero seven Papa Alpha. There's a skyline to our right right now, and below us is a Norwegian Joy. Uh, the outbound uh, four. Uh, make straight in runway one four left and Alaska Stadium. They've got a car truck on top. Following tower, Cessna two one one three Julia, one mile west of Magnuson Park, requesting orbit of downtown. Number two one one three Julia, Boeing tower right there. Two zero three pop point tower holds short, but we went full right away to get our release. Okay, two one tango, north. Two one tango, right to two enter. There's traffic inbound just north of Pier ninety one, indicating one thousand six hundred to Skywagon. Two so tango traffic inside. And November one three Juliet, uh, I didn't catch the idea. Okay, I have identified Juliet. Well, through you, I got you now. There is traffic a mile south. Your position appears to be westbound, indicating 1,000. I have traffic inside. One through Juliet. One well, through Juliet. Uh, transition is approved. He's caught. Lake Union traffic, system 572 Tango, LA Bay Marina westbound. So we're right in the neighborhoods of Queen Anne and Magnolia. And we'll go past Discovery Park here. Yeah, traffic company, 7510, 6,000, Directly in front of us is Bainbridge Island and the Olympic Peninsula and the, uh, the Olympic Mountains beyond that. And further off left is Blake Island, uh, which is neat and that is uninhabited. It's a tourist spot now, so there's a Native American dinner thing that you can uh, attend there. Thank you, need traffic cutter, 5 Kiel office, uh, Ballard Bridge, 1000, we're westbound. For Shield Shoal, and then we'll be southbound to Alki. Traffic 5 Kiel Alpha is currently almost over the locks here at 1000. The uh, briefly northwest bound uh, over Shoal Shoal and then south bound. Okay, thank you. Roger that. Uh, 2 one I see westbound traffic in sight. I'll hook the shoreline around uh, Discovery Park and stay south here. Okay, I'm looking for all I've got you in sight now. Thanks. You five kilo alpha shoal shoal descending out of one thousand for six hundred and will be uh, left turn for Alka. Thank you. Clear traffic jump running seven five one to seven thousand six hundred climbing ten thousand five hundred percent of operation. About seven miles to the south of the turning northbound. We go.
That was locks there to the right with a bunch of boats lined up to go into the lake. How often do they open the locks? Uh, all the time, off and on all day. They've been operating that way uh, continuously, I believe, since 1916 when they were built. Thank you, driver. Two Tangle is still full day for the Bowie Box, the Green Lake Lightning South, Lake Indian. I tried to avoid it as much as I can. I grew up on a uh, farm, so hiking was all I did before we went out to do shores. Uh, <laughs> okay. Hey, Lincoln, did you have to cut you off of uh, West Point? 700 for Al Qaeda. Lincoln. Lincoln, driver to a Nago Green Lake, I'm landing Lincoln. No, there is a lot of good hiking around here, and I hear great things about it, but uh, not my thing. We're uh, Alki 700 climbing for a thousand for Telia Bay Marina. Then we'll be the needle landing north Lakeview. 
Yeah, not bad. Oh, very <laughs> <laughs> wonderful. Good, good. If you really want to see the Seattle, that's the best tour. Ah, thank you. As I like to hear. Yeah, yeah. out here, you're never more than about a four hour drive from just anything you want to do, like from hiking or skiing to a number yeah. of music or concerts downtown. I saw some fireworks going off in the, the stadium there. Surprise. Oh, was there? Yeah. I was looking for air traffic, so uh, probably a Sounders game. I've seen them uh, shooting off fireworks when we go over before, it's kind of neat to see. Yeah, it wasn't full. <laughs> well, that's the Sounders, you know. <laughs> I know you were. I know you were. I know you were watching for traffic there. And wasting your traffic. Five Kilo Alpha is green elevators approaching the needle. One thousand will be landing north. Thank you. Yeah, fairly busy day for Boeing. A lot of GA traffic. I was surprised. But there is, uh huh. They yeah, got the Baron tour going around. They got the seaplane tours going. And I heard some of the uh, trainer planes out of uh, Boeing Field going in as well. Kill off his final to the more like you. There he is. Yeah, it's an otter. Pointy nose. You know, I could tell you. I, I probably should know that answer, but uh, I don't. And now it's owned by the, the Fred Hutch Company, and they do medical research, cancer research, that sort of thing. So it's all laboratories in there now. Yeah, they repurposed the building. That's yep. good. Keep some of the history around so people can still recognize it. What did you say? How old is this lady? What make? What is that? 1964. 1964. Yeah. I had a 1953. Ooh. 180. A 180? Yeah. Oh. I got my complex ready in a, in a retractable gear 180. So it's completely wow. like more than 50 years and it's still so nice, so strong kind of thing. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. I've got a pretty high maintenance standards for these things, so. 
You guys can take our seat belts whenever you like. Very nice, soft landing and soft docking. No, no crashes at all.